Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. Today is going to be a first for my channel and uh, probably the last on Borderlands 2 but I uh, thought I'd try something a little bit different. I've never actually done a Let's Play for Borderlands 2 which is weird really because I've had like 12 different characters all at Hope Power 8. Uh, played through the storyline about 40 times and uh, just never posted it really. I tend to stay safe with the old tips and tricks videos uh, quite easy because if you make a mistake or you know, get your words mixed up which I do quite a lot you, uh, you can edit it out and things like that so I tend to stay away from the let's plays but uh, seeing as though it's nearly the end of Borderlands 2 now um, all the contents come out and stuff like that and pre sequels coming out in a few months time I thought I'll do one last uh, run through the game but I thought don't want to just do a normal let's play because people have watched that god knows how many times so i thought i'd do something a little bit different and uh, i've gone with a legendary run as i'm calling it i uh, know there's been people that have done legendary runs before and things like that uh, but i'm not sure if anyone's ever done it the way that i'm thinking of doing it so let's just uh, select a character anyway while we uh, start and then i'll explain exactly what i'm going to be doing hmm. I'm not going to go with Sal because I've got three of them. I've got two zeros as well, so and I've played Cree quite a lot. I'm not a big fan of Gage. Let's go for something different. I haven't been a Siren very often. I've got one character, but I didn't play her that much. Yeah, let's go with Maya. Oh, I can't believe I'm playing through this game again. Honestly, it's been a long time actually since I... Uh, did the story mode but when the game first came out I just played and played and played it it's going to be weird to be not in the power 8 for once as well or not to have two bad booms in my hand that's all I seem to uh, do lately but yeah while, uh, while this guy's going on I'll explain what I'm feeling with this legendary run so basically I was thinking basic rule would be to play through the storyline from start to finish um, I'll only say I'm gonna do one playthrough for now if you know it's, it's quite successful and things like that I might actually do another playthrough and stuff like that but uh, for now we'll just say one run and that should hopefully take us up to pre-sequel but I was thinking is that because of the... Yes. Um, just have a look what... Oh yeah, it's because I uh, pre-ordered when I first got it. Oh nice, we'll get them uh, Premier Club weapons then. Uh, we'll go Snipe. Snipe an SMG. What's the relic? Oh, it's the uh, loot one, isn't it? Vault one is relic. Yeah, so let's carry on. But yeah, I was thinking uh, basically to start, play through. But with a little bit of a difference, basically got to go to the first boss and pretty much every boss will drop a legendary, if not a unique. There aren't many bosses in this game that, that don't do that. So I was thinking, say now, I'm going to run through the storyline until I get to Knuckle Dragger. And uh, Knuckle Dragger actually drops the uh, legendary. So basically I can't progress until I get that legendary off him. So whether it takes 10 attempts or 100 attempts, I've got to sit there killing him until I get his legendary drop. And don't worry, I won't make you sit and watch that because I'm pretty sure 100 runs of the same boss is going to be very boring. So what I'll probably do is end up killing him two or three, maybe four or five times. And then, if I haven't got it then, I'll uh, edit it out and actually show you guys the actual drop. And then, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick religiously to this one, but uh, I was thinking then I have to use that legendary drop or, you know, weapon, grenade, shield or something of some sort into the fight of the next boss. Um, so, you know, get Knuckle Dragger's drop, take it to Boom Boom, get the bonus package, take that to Flint and things like that. Uh, and maybe we'll see how that goes. It might be a bit hard because some of the... Uh, 
legendaries are pretty crap. I've just noticed that I'm just moving around and jumping around a lot here. I get quite bored easily. Let's get this walk symbol while we're here. Try and get as many of these as we can as well. Get some ammo on the go. And here's Little Dragger. But yeah, let me know anyway what you guys think. I always take some suggestions as well. Um, if you want to add some rules to the game and make it a bit more of a challenge or a bit different, then I'm always up for that. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So basically, to Knuckle Dragger, and we'll kill him until we get his legendary. And until then, we can't progress. Which could mean that by the time I get to the next boss, I will actually be stupidly overpowered. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun, really. A bit of a chill out. And uh, God, it's been so long since I played this. I forgot what. Yeah, I forgot that I haven't got unlimited money nearly now and unlimited weapons and things like that. So uh, it's time to go old school again and go looting. It's been a long time. Never gets old though. Sit here looting all day. Uh, is that it? Got a vault symbol. Yeah, I think that's it. Time to go out and kill things then. I won't do too much of this tedious looting. I'll uh, try and run through as much as possible, but it's good at the start to get yourself some... Uh, get yourself some stuff. Now, I've like got an idea, actually. We'll I'm pretty sure I've seen someone do this before. I've never actually... I haven't done a playthrough since then, but I've seen... Uh, someone before get themselves a little boost at the start. I think it might have been in one of uh, Baru's videos, actually. Let's have a look at my XP bar. I'm pretty sure if you go to Tannis and just accept this mission, welcome to Digital Peak. Did that get me anything? Ah, oh, one locked door. I think there's a bit of free XP here. Which is always good. And then you return. You are now a genius by Pandoran standards. If this can get me to level two, that'll be quite helpful actually. There we go. Nice. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be taking on Digital Peak quite yet. What do you want me to do? Oh yeah, very nice. Uh, the only trouble is that's gonna stay in my uh, thing now. Oh god, it took me to level 3. That's even better. Overpowered. Right, let's get back to the story. So, to clutch up, we go. Knuckle Dragger, here we come. Yes, I know. Right, let's progress. Quite uh, guy ain't even got my action skill yet. Have I? I keep forgetting that. Right, let's go kill things. I'm sure I selected that sniper then, instead of the yeah, I did. Don't know what went wrong now. Wow, we're going back to basics now. Sanctuary. Got some bully mongs coming. Oh, waiting for him. Here we go. Ooh. I'm so useless with a sniper. There we go. One shot hit. You'll have to uh, excuse me as well. This isn't an excuse, by the way, but I've actually just got a new PC. A um, pretty high spec, good one. And for the first time ever, I've actually got a proper gaming keyboard and mouse. Which, um, well, you'd be shocked if you saw my last mouse. It was the oldest, cheapest thing ever. But you kind of get used to things after a while. And this mouse is taking me a while to get used to so uh, I'm a bit jerky 
things won't be as smooth as they usually are. I'm, I am working on it, but... Sway about so much. Don't remember that before. Right, we're close to Knuckle Dragger. How did I not get him? Time to do some legendary farming. So, yeah, it'd be quite nice at the end as well of this uh, playthrough to uh, basically, as we go along, bank all of the weapons and then go back and look through what level I got what at and uh, just have a nice big full vault, even though I'll be too powerful for to use most of them I think it'll be quite uh, quite nice to actually go back and just have a look at them and uh, just go wow I can remember when I was you know back here and that was level 10 and it might just be me but I'm quite a sucker for legendaries as well as you'll see in most of my videos come on oh hang on is this where he gets stuck? Yes, it is. God. It's been so long. There we go. Now, come on. I maybe should stop running ahead, actually, and uh, stick with him. It's the slowest thing I've ever seen. Boost. <clears throat> well, let's get your eye back, dude. My eyes are switched back on. I see a tough looking minion and an incredibly handsome robot, which means that whoever has my eye is very close. Here we go. God, it's so unbelievably warm here. Don't know about where you are, but uh, it's pretty hot right here right now, and uh, I've got all the doors shut, and I've got my fan off because I was sat here with the air conditioner sat right next to me. But because I'm recording, it makes a hell of a lot of noise. I thought I'd turn it off, so I'm not going to uh, record too much of this because it's going to hurt me. No way. No way. Holy crap. Can you believe this? I can't believe that. A hornet on the first run. Holy crap, that saved me a lot of time. A lot of time. <laughs> well, I hope the rest of the series goes like that, because it'll be a pretty short one. That's unreal. Now, as you've probably seen if you followed me, I do a lot of speed farming videos and things like that, how to get legendaries quicker. You know, I'm not massively overclued up, but I've got a good idea of drop rates and, you know, who drops what. You know, I know it's all random RNG mechanics and things like that, but you do get a general idea that, you know, I can. I know I can go and get a bee from the tree ants a hell of a lot quicker than I can go to hell crystal one. You know, little things like that you pick up over the, the months and years playing games like this. And I farm Knuckle Dragger quite a few times for a few videos as well, like his speed farming video and things like that. And he's not the best boss in the world to drop very quickly so you know I was expecting 20 to 30 runs to get him and uh, wow what a nice surprise in fact let's equip that because I did say that I am gonna go with yeah let's get rid of that I am gonna try and use the legendaries for the remainder of the run oh thank you spender trash I still can't believe that. Well, that's a good start to the first episode, I think. And uh, I knew there was one thing I forgot. I actually forgot to check how much time we was on when I actually started this video. So it may be a short one, it may be a long one. I'm just going to get to uh, Hammerlock, get 
claptrap sight in and then uh, I'll call that for one episode. I'm not going to jump down there till he does because he's going to get bloody stuck and I'll have to get myself back up again. Come on. I'm going to move on. Oh, it's got a blade on it as well. You would have sort of chose zero. I love this. Right, let's try this baby out. It's only level two, but... Oh, yes. Get down. Yes, I do like the idea of this uh, legendary run series. It's going to be pretty awesome progressing to the next stages with the last latest legendary we can get. Look at that, straight down. Gonna make a mockery of these guys then, aren't we? Oh, yes. Corrosive damage. Get down. Who's next? Even without the uh, level boost from Digital Peak, this would have just ripped through him. I don't even need to waste all that ammo, I can just. Whoa. Yeah, let's try and conserve it. Right, let's try it. There we go. One shot for you. And one shot for you. And one shot for you. absolutely ripping through them but they're not all going to be like this I don't think and again it is um, legendaries are a lot more powerful obviously early on in levels than they are at say overpower rate a lot of them become useless at overpower rate so this might be quite an easy run through for the first playthrough that's why I'm, I might carry it on if people like it and like I said give me suggestions and I'll change things up a little bit make it a bit harder and things like that because Although I knew legendaries, you know, doing a full run through of every, collecting every legendary would make it slightly easy sometimes. That was just, well that was a breeze, that absolute breeze. So if you were, uh, I think that might have made my mind up that I have to use, you know, the legendary weapons that I've got and nothing else. But we'll see. I don't want to limit myself to things because obviously, like over there when I go to Boom and Boom, I'll get a rolling thunder. Uh, sorry, a, a bonus package, but I'll only probably get it at like level four or five, and then I can't even think who the next, the next uh, guy is who drops a grenade mod. I think it'll be Ball in yeah three horns, but I'm actually playing on PC, and I'm pretty sure it's a known bug that you can't get the fastball from Ball on PC. It's actually glitched out, and uh, well, I've never I've farmed him for hours and hundreds of times and I've never seen one drop and I did look it up on the internet it is kind of a common known fault so I think it might be an exception on that one where I don't actually have to farm for the fast fault I'll give it a try but uh, probably off camera I'll, well I'll, I'll record it but I won't feature it in the uh, series because it might be a complete lost cause Actually, let's go sell some uh, weapons while waiting for him. You can always trust the gun at your side. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's no diary recording. Stay two on Pandora. Let's go out listen to Let's go switch this on and then uh, I think we'll call it for an episode. So, uh, like I said, let us know what you think of it. Uh, if you actually like this series and whatever. Uh, like I said, it's my first Let's Play, so please bear in mind that I don't know, most of you who do YouTube will actually know this. Or, well, some of you probably know it. It's not as easy as people think to do YouTube and uh, like actually talk and that. It does actually take a bit of getting used to, and I'm not the greatest by a long way. Like I said, I do stammer my words like hell and things like that, but. On normal videos, you can edit them out. Uh, but doing a live let's play with live recording is a bit different. 
that's why I'm making myself do it and that's why I'm going to push ahead with the series anyway even if it's not very successful because I want to get you know a bit of practice in before Borderlands pre-sequel comes out because I, I do want to do a full playthrough of that straight away oh shield so please bear with me guys and uh, if you want to ask me any questions or anything in the comments and just give me something to talk about it might actually make things easier for me to actually talk about stuff that I, you know, I, I know rather than just commenting on what's going on and uh, should we call that an episode? yes whoa okay sorry Jesus someone's Marty right so next episode we will go I tell you what I'll let you guys decide what I go for first next episode you've got two choices don't really matter which way we do it but uh, I'll be doing them anyway do you want me to take this lovely legendary hornet to look at that let's have a quick inspect of it beautiful first drop can't believe it so do you guys want me to take it over there to slay mr. boom and his brother or do you want me to take it that way to Midgemong and try and get a Kablaster. So just put in the comments, Kablaster, bonus package. Either way, I will be taking that drop when I get it to the next one. So Kablaster to Boom and Boom or bonus package. Uh, it'd be quite funny to see, uh, to try and kill it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be quite hard actually to try and kill uh, Actually, I don't know what I prefer. Do I prefer to try and kill Midgemong with a bonus package or Captain Flynn. That's quite a tough one. Well, I'll let you guys decide anyway, so uh, put in the comments bonus package, Kablaster, and that's where we'll start off in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like I said, bear with me. I'm probably going to listen back to this and ramble like hell, but you know, I need the practice. So uh, let me know what you think of the series. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next